hi everyone welcome to another interesting lesson in today's lesson we want to simplify this exponential um, expression of the power of i up down to the power of one so solution to this problem is so from our question we have that 5 to the power of 5 plus 5 to the power of 4 plus 5 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 2 then plus 5 which is to the power of 1 as well how do we simplify this what is the value to this expression so what we do here is to rewrite this expression in order to expose the common factors so from this expression we can adopt this identity if we have a to the power of m plus n which is written as a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so if we adopt this identity we can now go further to use this to simplify this so we have the next step to be written as 5 to the power of 1 5 to the power of 4 plus 1 plus 5 to the power of 4 plus 5 to the power of 2 plus 1 plus 5 to the power of 2 plus 5 so from this step we can rewrite this expression constraining this identity so the next step becomes 5 to the power of 4 multiplied by 5 to the power of 1 which is regarded as 5 plus 5 to the power of 4 plus 5 to the power of 2 multiply by 5 which is to the power of 1 as well plus 5 to the power of 2 plus 5 and then from here to here we can see that 5 to the power of 4 is common and from here to here 5 to the power of 2 is common so let's do the factorization of that so we have 5 to the power of 4 into bracket this 5 then we have 1, we close the bracket, Four plus 5 to the power of 2, we open the bracket, we have 5, then plus 1, then we close the bracket, then plus 5. So here, we can add what we have in the bracket, we add these two together, we have 5, to the power of 4 multiplied by 6 then plus 5 to the power of 2 multiplied by 5 plus 1 we give us 6 plus 5 so from here to here again you can see that 6 is common so what we do is to factor that out we have 5 to the power of 4 plus 5 to the power of 2 into brackets we bring out the 6 then plus 5 now here using our earlier identity we can still break this down as well to 5 to the power of 2 5 to the power of 2 plus 2 then plus 5 to the power of 2 of this you close the bracket multiply by 6 plus 5 and this gives us 5 to the power of 2 multiply by 5 to the power of 2 plus 5 to the power of 2 into brackets multiply by 6 plus 5 so we have 5 to the power of 2 common to this side we bring that out we have 5 to the power of 2 
into bracket 5 to the power of 2 then plus 1 close the brackets multiply by 6 then plus 5 so here 5 to the power of 2 is given by 25 then plus 1 into brackets multiply by 6 plus 5 then we have 5 to the power of 2 over here so now we have the next step to be this can also be written as 25 that is 5 to the power of 2 into brackets we can now add this together we have 26 into brackets 6 plus 5 then we can split this as well as equal to 25 close the bracket to 20 plus 6 we close the bracket multiply by 6 then plus 5 also also we have the next step to be equal to so we can now multiply this by this and multiply this by this so we have if we multiply 25 by 20 we get 500 plus 25 multiplied by 6 we get 150 we close the bracket multiply by 6 then plus 5 if we had what we have in the bracket then we have 6 150 will be in the bracket multiply by 6 then plus 5 then this can as well this this can as well be written as 600 plus 50 this 600 plus 50 into brackets multiply by 6 into brackets multiply by 6 Plus 5. Now we multiply this 6 by what we have in the brackets and that gives us equal to 3. We have 3 600, 3 600 plus 300 into brackets plus 5. Now from here we can add what we have, then we have what we then we had what we have in the bracket and that gives us 3900 then plus this 5 and the addition of this we now give us 3 3905 as our final answer in addition to this in addition to this, if you want to make uh, your, in addition to this, if you want to make your work more faster, you can use the geometric series approach. So in that place, you apply the formula of geometric series. So using this geometric series, using the formula of geometric series, our R here will be 5. Likewise, our N will be 5. So this is the number of um, term we have in this expression, and which is 5. The number of term we have there is 5. And then the power we have, the highest power we have there is likewise 5. So we now put that together, we have the summation of the summation of k from 1 to 5. Given that 5 to the power of k, so where we are going to apply k is ranging from 1 to 5. So we'll be given as 
5 to the power of 6 minus 5 over 5 minus 1. So applying this is very um, formula. So if we input that, we have 5 to the power of 6 given as 15, 6, 20 minus 5 all over 5 minus 1. So if we compute all this value from the numerator and the denominator, we are going to arrive at the same answer with the previous method, which is 3905. So, and that comes the end of the lesson. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you do, please subscribe to this channel, turn on notification bell, like this video as well, and share this video as well to those who you know are looking for this as to those who you know are looking for the solution of this kind of problem. And, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.